Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. You're watching a Math Salamanders walkthrough video, and this one is on number bonds to 100 sheet 5. What is a number bond? It's a combination of two numbers that adds up to a different sum, in this case 100. Okay, and it's basically kind of the introduction to algebra. What missing value will help you get to 100, okay? The easiest way to do it, I think, is to just simply subtract 20 from this value on the right. So we have all these hundreds on the right. We can just subtract that number and we can get to the missing number. So it's gonna be 80. 20 plus 80 equals 100. How'd I get that? Well, you just do 100 and you subtract 20 from that, and well, you'll need to do some borrowing, and we get 80, okay? So, again, you borrow, we get 10, 10 minus two, 80, and that's our answer. Another way to think of it is, uh, probably a quicker way I like to think of it, is I like to break it down into its tens component and its ones component. If I have a five here, I need to know that this five will add up to get me a value of a 10, okay? So five plus another five will get me to 10, okay? Because I have zeros here. Now, if I have a five there, I have to consider this tens place. What tens place will I have here plus that 10 get to me 100? Now, keep in mind, I already have a 10 based on this five and this five. That's my first 10. So really, I just need to get to, well, I have 10 there. Plus, I have that green 10, and then I have another missing value right here, and that's another tens place I need to add up. So that 10 plus 10 plus what gives me 100? That's 80, so I have to have my last one, my last 10, be 8. So 85 plus 15 equals 100. Again, that's just a different way to think about it. Easiest way is just do 100 minus 15. Okay, that was the first way I showed, and that's 85. Yeah, that's the that's the easiest way to do it, but I just wanted to give you something else, and that's how I think about it in my head. So here I'm thinking, okay, something plus 4 equals 100. Obviously, that's 96. Something plus 17 equals 100. Well, I can do 100 minus 17. Or I can say, okay, I know 7 plus 3 gives me 10. That's my first 10. I get my second 10 there. That's 20. And I know I need 80 more to get to 100. And I think that's a way that a lot of cashiers will count off change. Let's go ahead and skip to this third column here. We have two here, I have 20, okay? I wanna get another 10 with the one, so I'm gonna have eight plus two. That'll give my another set of 10, so I have 20 plus 10, that's 30, and I'm missing how much? I'm missing 70 to get me to 100, so 72 is my answer. So if you like that method, go ahead and use it. That's kind of like how I think about it. So again, six plus, with that one's place, six plus four, I know that's six plus four gives me a 10. I have another 10 here, so I'm just missing eight, 84. One plus something, nine. One plus nine gives me my first set of 10. Then I have the four already there. That's 50, so I'm just missing 50 more to get to 100, and that's 59. And that's just the process here. And then this is 77. Another way to think of it is I can do 100 minus that 20. That's 80, and I also have to subtract another three from 80, and that's 77. That's probably the quickest way to do it, and I'll demonstrate that real quick before I get into this other part. So 100 minus 30, that's 70, and then I minus another four, and that's 66. 100 minus 30, that's 70, minus another six, and that is 64. 100 minus 10, that's 90, minus two, 88, and then 100 minus 30, 70, again, lots of these 70s, and we get 69 for our answer right there. Okay, so the second part is matching, joining bonds, and the, probably the easiest way is kind of that second example I was telling you. You don't even have to really worry about the 10 digit at all because I just need this eight and two if I'm trying to get 100. I know eight and two add up to 10, so these are gonna be matched up. It just so happens that this the two and the seven help you get to 100, but for example, we can't have these two paired up because eight plus seven is gonna give us 17, and we're gonna have that leftover seven. It's not gonna be a nice round number to 100. So that's just a strategy I would use, okay? And I like blue, so I'm gonna use blue. So again, I have a four and a six there. I'm gonna connect those. I have a seven and a three. I said that backwards, and then right there, okay? Same thing here. Uh, I don't think there's any duplicates, so I can just essentially make 10, okay? I can bond them together and I get 100, and those are all the answers right there. Don't wanna give 
all the answers away. Okay, now this one, we're circling all the pairs of numbers that total 100. So we're going to look for pairs here. This was the first example given, and there's probably some more. There's got to be some more. So you can go diagonal this way. And actually, I'm going to use my highlighter feature. This is Notability. Great program, by the way. I wish they were a sponsor, but they're not. So I have, there's a connection right there. Uh, let me make it a little bigger. So it's a nice little fat highlighter. So just like this, I got a connection there. Look how neat, neat that looks. And then we got that connection. Okay, these all add up to 100. So you're looking for these that match up together, okay? The temptation would be to do this, but I know 70 plus 30 is already 100. So that three plus the seven in the ones place would take us over 100. So it's this one that's matching up. Um, and really, again, the strategy I'm using here is looking at the ones place. If the ones places don't add up to 10, then it's not gonna add up to 100. That's probably the simplest way to think of it in my opinion. So if I see a five and five, I'm already intrigued. Now I'm gonna verify it and I get 25 plus 75. And that's not all of them here, but I'm gonna cut the video off. It says 10 pairs. We already found one, two, three, four. You guys can do the rest. That was five at least. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need more math salamanders videos, I got you covered. More math videos, I got you covered. Just make sure to check out more videos like this right here on West Explains Best.